The tech CEOs came out on the defense in a wide range of questions. The chief executives of Facebook and Twitter faced lawmakers Tuesday for a wide range grilling on their platform's handling of misinformation and more during the 2020 election. The Senate Judiciary Committee hearing comes after Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook and Jack Dorsey of Twitter have taken notably more aggressive steps than in 2016. Zuckerberg and Dorsey came out swinging on the defense, highlighting these changes to their sites. Republican lawmakers largely took aim at the tech giants for allegations of censorship over their handling of a disputed news report and for labeling disputed claims, including the labeling of a number of President Donald Trump's posts. Democrats, for the most part, argued that Facebook and Twitter's steps to combat hate speech, among other issues, still do not go far enough. Dorsey said in opening remarks that after hearing users wanted more context, they applied labels with additional context to over 300,000 tweets from October 27 to November 11, which represented about 2.2% of all U.S. election-related tweets. Zuckerberg highlighted his company has taken down more than 100 networks of bad actors to protect against election interference and has built a network of independent fact-checkers. Zuckerberg said that 140 million people visited their voting information center, and he estimates Facebook helped more than 4.5 million people register to vote. In opening remarks, Chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee Senator Lindsey Graham, R.S. C., tackled a number of issues including allegations of censorship and the addictiveness of social media, even equating it at one point to the tobacco industry. At the crux of Tuesday's hearing, however, was Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, Graham said, referencing a law that shields tech companies from legal liability for content posted by third parties on their platforms. What we're trying to do is look at Section 230, and to see if it needs to be modified or changed, because Section 230 basically allows social media platforms like Twitter and Facebook to pass on information without legal liability, Graham said. If a newspaper does something you don't like, you think they've slandered you in a certain way, you can sue them. If a news program does something that you think is out of line, even as a politician with a high bar, you can sue them. I think there's Republican and Democrat concern about the power that's being used by social media outlets to tell us what we can see and what we can't, what's true and what's not," he added. Graham said in his mind, Section 230, has to be rewritten, adding that, the purpose of this hearing is to find a way forward to bring about change. Senator Richard Blumenthal, Decon, added that he intends to, bring aggressive and targeted reform to Section 230, but said that he is not interested, in being a member of the speech police.